sit back, relax, grab a drink, and enjoy today's vlog. So this vlog is starting off a little bit different because I'm gonna show you a few things from the brand 77, and then I'm gonna show you some footage of my day. Probably a little bit of a story time of what I've been up to as well. Let's start off with, with these things from 77. If you saw my video from Nordstrom's Rack like a month ago, I tried on a pair of 77 jeans and I was just so excited by the fit. They were comfortable, they fit amazing. So I'm excited to show you guys a couple other items from the brand. So let's start. Okay, I'm not sure what we should talk about first. We're talking about the jeans first. These are size 22 and they are the slim straight. I love this fit. I think it looks so cute on. I love the little cuff at the bottom. They're a great length for someone like myself. I've been measured about like five, six and a half to five, seven. So I just say, you know, we're in there. And my legs are definitely shorter than the upper half of me. So just for reference, but I just love this pair. I think it's so comfortable. There is a little bit of room still, so it's not like too tight, but it's definitely a good fit. I feel like it's literally perfect. I love the height of this too. Oh my gosh. And I think it looks good on the booty. Hey, hey. Oh, I really like the slim straight though. I think it's fun for something different. Uh, you know, I've been trying to mix up my cuts a little more. I'm still such a fan of the skinny jeans. I just feel like they look good. I feel really cute in them every single time. But it's been fun trying some more, especially like the flare style. So I don't know. It kind of gives a more like relaxed vibe. I don't know. And then this top, I am obsessed with this top. This is such a great fit. It's longer in the back as you can see. So it can cover your booty. And I just love the fit of it. It's a 3X and I think it just fits so great. I think yeah, 2X would have fit, but I think this fits nice because it's like a little bit blousey. I think it's literally a perfect fit. It fits great in the sleeves. This color is so, so pretty. And it's a little unexpected for this time of year, but I like that. I'm never someone who like follows the color rules. Like I just wear whatever color I want whenever I want and I will wear this whenever. And like right now, why not? bring a little brightness to the gray and gloomy days that seem to come more often this time of year. Um, but what I really thought was cool is the little detail here, how it has the little flap, so it kind of gives you that like faux cuff look. But this overall fit is literally amazing. That it is shown up here, the wrap style look. I think it would look good with a million different things. You could dress this up, dress it down. It's a nice fabric too, it's very comfortable. And I don't know, this is gonna be a great one to wear to the office too. Which by the way, I'll talk a little more after the try on. I have one more pair to show you about the office life. And this pair, this is a high rise skinny, also in a size 22. I like the nice darker wash. I love how high rise it is. It goes at a perfect height for me. So I like the roll here and it just kind of sits nicely amongst it. <laughs> I think it looks good on the booty as well. Looks great in the legs. It is a teeny bit long for me. So you have a little bit of bunching at the bottom, but I could cuff it or I could get them hemmed. More than likely I'll cuff it because I actually really like the way a cuff looks. I don't know. I just feel like it's really cute. It kind of gives a little bit more of a laid back vibe, which I really do like. So I love this fit as well. 77 jeans are amazing. The quality is great. They feel so soft. They're very stretchy still, which I really love. And they're like, I don't know. They feel like a buttery pair of jeans. That's the best way to describe them. They're literally one of my favorite jeans just because they are so comfortable. Still stretchy. I feel like they fit really well. They wash and wear well. If for some reason you haven't tried them yet, please do consider trying them. I definitely recommend them. I will link the items that you saw for the try on portion of the video in the description box below. So if you want to get anything for yourselves. Now, let's chat. You guys probably already noticed. I decided to make this whole new little background area because if you've been around for a while, I did have this area, what I called like my YouTube area, which is now turned into a Poshmark area. <laughs> so that way it can kind of be condensed away because now, in case you didn't know, I got a new job and I started that job. Um, the first day of training was August 31st. Yeah, it was 31st. And so we weren't gonna go home until like probably December, maybe even January. That was kind of the plan when I got hired. We were like, you're gonna train, you're gonna get comfortable, and then you're gonna work from home probably in like 90 days or so after. So I was like not expecting it till then. Well, on Friday, they told us, never mind. Matter of fact, y'all are gonna go home on October 24th. So this is coming in a week today, Sunday the 18th. So this week right here is gonna be my last week in office, which is 
honestly kind of bittersweet though because I've really grown to love some of my coworkers. They're really, really awesome people. I know like we'll still be able to keep in contact and stuff, but like it was nice seeing them and just getting to know them, you know? And just getting out of the house was nice. Um, but I am really, really looking forward to being at home because it is gonna make my life a little easier with trying to work. Also, those of you who don't know, before I started this job, I did like book work and stuff for my parents' business, which I still do. And also doing my YouTube channel and stuff. So I think it's just gonna make it nicer because I won't have the commute time anymore. I don't have to get pressed in the morning. I can literally just roll out of bed and go to my desk to work. So it's gonna take all of that out of it. So it's gonna give me more time to put into everything else. So I am really excited about that. And um, it's cool because at my work we have this like Microsoft Teams. I don't know if you guys have that at your work, but you can chat with other people. So we'll still be able to like chat like we do right now. Um, so um, I don't know, I'm excited for the new chapter. It's gonna be my last week at actual work and um, I prepped some stuff for, oh gosh, I, <laughs> you wanna show me in here? We got a new camera because um, I've been doing Instagram just as long as I've been doing YouTube. I haven't got like a nice camera. I finally got a nice camera. Babe, can you wanna show the people I'm vlogging? I'm in the middle of shooting. Oh God, he is obsessed with the camera. <laughs> Which is good, like we just got it and um, okay. He's having fun playing around with the settings and stuff. The quality seems really nice. We got it at Costco actually, which, you know, gotta love Costco. They have really good deals. And we got the, what was it babe? It's the Canon. Uh, Canon EOS Rebel T7. There you go. Um, I will try to insert a picture that he took on the camera so you can see the quality. It looks really nice. I don't think the video quality is any better than what I'm using right now. The, to film with you guys right now but the picture quality is really really nice so i'm looking forward to bringing higher quality photos to my instagram and you guys know i sometimes insert photos here on the youtube videos too so you guys will babe <laughs> he's having a photo shoot okay babe that's enough photos come show them the camera all right okay wait you have to crouch down or something or come back a little bit there you go Oh no, if you have like a sense, okay, no, don't do a flash at the camera because it might like, okay. I didn't. <laughs> but it's really nice though. That's bright. He's having fun playing around with it. He took a really cute picture of Gus too. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Okay, I had to grab the camera because he was not in the shot. So, what are we doing, babe? All right, so over the weekend, we did a haunted car ride. A haunted drive through Car ride. Okay, whatever. Car ride, drive through, whatever, same thing. It was fun. It was cool. We both got a little scared. A little bit. But I was, you know, really wanted to do like a haunted house or something this year. And obviously with COVID, there's not a lot of options. So I was excited though that they had the haunted drive through because that was just Darn really fun COVID. for something different, you know. And I actually liked it. I feel like it'd be fun to do even next year. Except I think it'd be cooler with your windows rolled all the way down. Yes, because of COVID, of course, they had your windows up. But I think if they did it next year and we could have our windows down, it would be even spookier. Scarier. But it was still spooky, honestly. We both screamed at least once. Well, I mean, I remember like at least four times. Yeah. <laughs> but the people were coming to the window and like tapping. Somehow the tapping was almost creepier though. I was just like, T -t 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 -t. I don't know. And then there was this like scene where there was clowns. I should have filmed some of it, but like we were just, we were freaking out. Yeah. And there was part where the clown where you like went through the tunnel and the clowns were just in there walking around your car. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was pretty creepy. It was creepy. Jeff is going to go play with the camera and get ready for bed because it's already like nine o'clock. But this is the new like YouTube area but over there's the couch and stuff so don't mind the mess over there it's a wreck we're just we're not talking about how much of a wreck it is over there right now but we're doing some deep cleaning organizing and just rearranging for that so we're gonna this is gonna be my new like filming area probably because it's just really convenient it's right here already I think it's cute and I'm gonna maybe I don't know what I'm gonna do for sure but I think I'm gonna switch this table out for the season so um, you know, obviously now is fall slash Halloween, so I have my cute pumpkins and my little skull and I my little candle. This is like, um, it's a pumpkin scent. And then over there is where I'm going to put my table and chair for my work. And then we have the recliner that we never use. Our TV broke, so we got a new one for the bedroom. Nothing special, just, so we don't know what to do with it. We might try to just, I guess, get rid of it or whatever. If somebody knows how to repair it, I don't know. We need to go through the china cabinet and get that cleaned out. And then, um, so yeah, we rearranged all of that, which is really nice. And then, so I'll have to show you guys, the desk might not come till Friday and I'm not sure this video is going to go up on Friday. So if I don't have 
my whole setup done by Thursday night, then I'll just show you guys in the next vlog the whole setup. So sorry that might be a bit of a part two. But I've also been working on my new Halloween DIY video, which will probably be up the week before Halloween. And I'm excited about that. I think you guys really liked it last year. I know I enjoyed it. I did try to think of some other ideas for this year and just make it different. So I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy it though. But um, now I'm going to get ready for bed because I have a big day. Monday is always a busy, busy day at my job. It's nonstop work on a Monday. So... Uh, I'm going to get ready for bed, unwind, and I will see you guys probably in the morning. Jeff just gave the dogs a bath and Georgia is so mad that Jeff's not in here hopping in the bed with all of us. Gus doesn't really care. He's just smiling his own business. But look at her. She's literally so upset. She's like, where's my daddy? Oh, where's daddy? Huh? Where's, oh, it's okay, girly. It's okay. I love you, girly. Okay, calm down, calm down. I've been really trying to get her to calm down because she literally is so hyped all the time. So I've been working with her. Georgia, stop. Good girl. That's like, I don't know why I started doing that hand, <laughs> that hand signal and saying stop, but it works. It gets her to calm down and she's just learning. See, look at her. She's just quiet and calm now. But she'll want to be way too hyped. So I'm like, you got to simmer, simmer down. So thankfully we're getting, you know I'm talking about you, huh? Do you know I'm talking about you? <laughs> Look at the face she gives. I swear she knows exactly what I'm saying. She's like, mm, don't appreciate it. Don't appreciate it. You're a good girl, Joe. Yeah, she's a good girl. Daddy, come back. He's going to bring foodies. <gasps> foodies? Oh, <laughs> smell like a wet puppy. Yes, but I love you. Yes, I love you, baby boy. And yeah, so we're probably gonna watch something on TV. Um, I was watching. Hey, baby, I'm vlogging, and I was telling the viewers about how you were coming with food, and Georgia was literally sitting here whining for you to come back. Are you in the shot? I can't tell. I was. Well, kind of. Yeah, like kind of. I can see myself. Okay. Bye. And so he just fed the doggies. Well, Georgia. And then Gus is getting his pot. We feed them on the floor because we had dog bowls. We had multiple. We still do. They refuse to get out of the dog bowls. They grab the food and put it on the ground and then eat it. So we just skip the middleman and we just feed them on the ground now. And um, oh, ha they're happy. So now the little piggy paws are gonna eat george's piles over there somewhere we keep the piles separate and they're good about it honestly wet dog on my bed i don't care i love my dogs they're fine look at them oh now they're gonna wrestle too anyone else dogs like that are my dogs the only ones that just are annoying i'm sure not but yeah gus has been like that forever even before we got georgia because some people i know like um, some of my friends are like oh but Maybe it's like a territorial thing. I was like, no, he's Gus has always been that way, even before we had a Georgia. So when he was just a single dog, an only child, he still did that with his food. That's just how he's always been. And so, and Georgia does the same thing. So it just works out. That is our exciting night. Not really that exciting, but um, we watched Hubby Halloween or Hubie, Hubie. Yeah, Hubie Halloween with Adam Sandler on Netflix. Oh my gosh, it was funny. It was corny, but funny. I really enjoyed it. We both, me and Jeff both really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. 
It has a lot of good actors in it. A lot of funny actors. So if you haven't seen it already, which I'm sure you might have maybe, I don't know. But if you haven't, I would check it out because it was really, really funny. And then there was something else we were watching too. And I'm drawing a blank of what it was oh i was catching up on the real housewives of orange county which is so weird to not have tamra or vicky on there anymore i don't know if any of you guys watch real housewives of orange county you might be like what is she talking about but if you do let me know what you think of no more tamra or vicky on there i wasn't the biggest fan of either of them to be honest but it just feels weird not having them there though you know what i mean it's just weird for dinner we had jalapeno poppers which were good if you like jalapeno poppers those were delicious so all right, well, I will see you guys in the next clip. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. We're almost there. So I make my Dunkin' Donuts coffee in my Keurig. I put in my vanilla Premier Protein. And I just fill my cup up like that. And then I take the sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup. And I just do a pour. I don't really measure it. As you can see, I just kind of pour it. And then... I pour in the Dunkin' Donuts coffee, let it all mix, add my ice, and this literally tastes like a Cinnabon. It is so freaking good. I also like to do the Irish cream sugar-free, so really, really good. So Jeffy Bear got my desk up. It came in my chair, and let me show you guys the stuff. <laughs> Jeff wants to show up the beautiful uh, desk chair. Yes. He put it all together. Show them how the table works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that fancy just team K. I know. I cannot wait. That's going to be so nice. Um, I'll be picking up my keyboard and my computer yes. on Saturday. Because um, I have to go to work still tomorrow in office for the last day. So, that'll be there. And then I got this really cute little wrist thing. It's like... Did you feel it? It's like memory foam. That's so, that'll awesome. be nice. And then... I got my calendar because I like to be able to have the calendar always there for me. And my little Christmas tree from last year, which, Georgia, get out of there. So I'll put that there still. And then, oh yeah, my lamp. Let me show you guys. And then here's the lamp. You just tap it like this. Oh, that's bright. And then you can plug your phone in right there on the little side. So that'll be nice. And then I have this little pen holder, which is so cute. And the marble. So and then my cute. notepad, because I always seem to have to write notes when people call about something so yeah thanks for putting awesome. it all together you're guys. welcome i can't wait to use it and thanks that, to amazon basics for your notepads there well it's not thanks to them my job actually paid for all of my at-home office stuff which was really really nice they paid for the desk the chair like everything that you see here except for the pen holder actually because brie actually well, bought me the pen high. holder but it's nice right see i put the little tree there it looks cute right mm -hmm. How high does this go? Oh, I already tested it out. It goes super high. Stand up so people can see like how high it goes. I don't know. Let it go all the way up and then stand up. Before you stand, okay. So far we're at 106. What's, oh, look at Gus. He's like, what the heck? You're going to be at mama's feet down there. I already know it. Oh yeah, that's tall. Just 5'10". Yeah. Sweet. Um, because I want to be able to sit and stand. I like at work I can do the sit and stand, so it is I'm a really nice option. I'm going to bring it back down. Bring it around town. Certified freak. So, so that freak. is my at-home office. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. And remember to just be, be you. you. Bye, guys.